some people don't know what a warm up is. All right, so uh, this is probably like my third time playing this year. I uh, haven't had a lot of chance to like get onto the courts. By the way, what's up guys? Uh, Vince here and Bob. Bob Julian. From Adventure Tennis. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys had a good winter. Uh, it's been a long time since our last video. Yeah, what? it's been a while. Yeah. What did we review last? I think it was the uh, head? Yeah, the yeah, head speed head MP. MP. Yeah, anyways, uh, it's difficult to play here in Manitoba during yeah. winter because the costs are really high for the course. Yeah. Um, and I think a good break was also needed a little bit on both our parts. Bob kept playing a little bit, but... I played this weekly, uh, kind of Sunday league. Not really a member, but it was just more so just to play round robin type. Had a little bit of playoffs, it was fun. Yeah, but I haven't been playing and I'm a little bit out of shape as well. So my tennis is very rusty, as you guys probably can tell from those first few rallies at the beginning of the video. So today we're actually going to be doing some drills. Uh, to work on form, on just repetition, and probably give each other a little bit of feedback here and there. Um, but it's one thing that I think is very necessary to improve. It's something that Bob and I have in common. We really want to improve our game. And we, when you're playing and you're just rallying, there's so many variables that you can't really control and you can't get a lot of repetition. So you can't necessarily notice the nuances between one stroke and another, one ball and another, etc. And so uh, practice is important and is something we value. So uh, today we're going to be doing a couple of drills. Uh, we're going to do, yeah, we're going to try to do three drills. Three drills that uh, we've seen online um, from different uh, either channels, influencers, or other coaches, etc. Um, in order to work on different parts of our game. It kind of takes us back to our, one of our first few videos here. Yeah. Guys, remember last time? Like we were here at night. One of our first few videos, we were working on drills and kind of like the record yourself video, remember? That? Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, so it's kind of like, hey. We're back, fresh start, let's go. Full circle. Yeah. New year, Yeah. same people. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, so what's the first exercise we're so gonna be doing today? The first today? exercise we're gonna be doing is uh, cross court forehand to forehand. I really like doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's a mosquito. <laughs> anyway, we are in friendly, where we uh, reside, yeah, it just, it's a lot of heavy, heavy uh, rainfall, so they are breeding like crazy. The mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquitoes, yeah. yeah. And, and other and yeah yeah <laughs> okay so cross court four and a forehand really like this drill uh especially me one of my favorite exercises vince i don't know about you you like your backhand right but you're more yeah. so of everything hey i mean it's a good exercise obviously it's super basic so basically we're just going to be doing uh cross hand uh sorry cross court forehand to forehand so from the right hand side of the court to the right hand side and uh from the backhand side obviously to the backhand Reason why I like this is it gets your feet moving because we try to usually come back around the middle to have to move back that way. It allows you to be able to focus a lot on your footwork while you're moving and transitioning to that forehand yeah. rather than having like multiple variables of like not knowing where the ball is going to be going. Are you jumping forward? Are you jumping back? You really can just focus on your split step and moving forward to be able to attack the ball. Yeah. I also really like it personally uh, because it helps with I get to practice a lot of the cross court angled on my backhand. Yep. My backhand's not necessarily the strongest shot in my game right now. Uh, so it just allows a lot of repetition on the backhand. So it's really nice. First oh, few uh, rallies, we'll just uh, take it easy. Start, try to stay loose. True. And uh, get some good depth. Yeah. See how it goes. Let's go work. All right. So again, the idea is that on the forehand, we're going to be starting here, moving here, forehand, sending it over there on, the, on his forehand side as well. Uh, so it does take a little bit of accuracy, but also again, working on the footwork. What I'm personally going to be trying to work on is I'm going to be trying to transition from back here to stepping into the court, cross-courting, and bringing myself right back to the middle of the court. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> a good start, a good start. Oh yeah. Oh, one sec, my mic fell out. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Cross court to cross court. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, ah. 
I'm really just trying to stay loose here. Target is four out of. Of course, this is crazy. He's hitting it really good. Really trying to get back in position. Simulate a, simulate a match. Oh yeah, it's a good shot. Oh, sorry. Wait. Sorry, that's my bad. Oh, backhand is so interesting. I guess we can slice too. Sorry. No, it's all good. It's a bad shot on my end. Yeah, a lot less control on the backhand, so. Ugh. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh. Even though I know it's coming. See, I shouldn't be lazy like that. Thank you. I should be able to get there. There. Good shot. It's also what I find is tricky is that I don't know about you, but when you see a cross court, you don't realize just how much you actually have to make it out here. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you're like kind of lazy and then you're like reaching for it. This is a good drill for that. It allows you to really be able to read that a little bit better or get used to it. Ah, good rally. Whoa! I know. Oh, sorry. Oh, beauty. There. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Anyway. All right. So the second drill that we're going to be trying out today, uh, we've seen this online. We've rarely done this. It's going to be the alleys. Um, so as you guys know, on the double side of the court or the doubles portion of the court, there's these two lines. They create a good alley and sort of a guideline in between which we're going to try to keep the ball. So we're going to work on going backhand to backhand. So I'm mainly gonna be standing here, right? So we less footwork, but more precision on uh, the contact of the ball and accuracy, obviously, because we wanna keep it between those lines. We're also gonna be doing the same thing forehand to forehand. Yep. Again, the goal is just to keep the ball between the lines, working on the accuracy, the contact of the ball, I guess, and playing around with it, trying to keep it, uh, keep the rally going as long as possible. Yep. yep. Sounds good. It's another good exercise just to work with consistency and depth and all that stuff. So. Hopefully uh, we can string together a good rally. Yeah. Yeah. Literally first time we're trying this, so let's go. Wish us luck. All right, okay. let's give it a shot. Ah <laughs> uh, no. Oh, 
shit. Again, the goal here is not power. Ah, sorry. The goal is <laughs> down the alleys. That's just lazy footwork on me. Oh, sorry. Almost in. Oh, back in. The mosquitoes! Fuck. Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get this back in play. There we go. There we go. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Yeah, our backhand is going to struggle. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Ah, well, that went in. <laughs> Alrighty. So yeah, that was tough. Yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, it's tough. <laughs> it just exposes you. You feel like you're so accurate. Yeah. This, uh, this, this gets you. It definitely reveals uh, some of the inconsistencies in, in your game. So. Yeah. But, you were hitting the ball pretty deep, though. Yeah. I wasn't able to. I was trying. Especially on the backhand, I was very str struggling a lot with uh, hey. just powering through it. You've been gone for the whole winter. True. Yeah. True. Welcome back reason why we do these drills. Awesome. So third drill we're going to try tonight uh, is going to be sort of a feeding drill. You guys have probably seen this online. Bob's going to feed me a forehand. It's going to be re recreating the scenario where you get a really good forehand and you slam it down the backhand of the opponent. And then because of that, they give you a short ball and it's an approach ball. You're going to low to the ground, approach ball. We're going to aggressively push it to the backhand again. Really trying to simulate somebody trying to play the ball back and hitting it short for yeah. you to finish. Exactly. Yeah. And then the third ball, because they were on the defensive, they popped it up. We get either a volley or an overhead to finish the point. So we're going to be recreating that, that scenario in a match play, um, but just obviously controlling the variables so that we can really focus on those three, tra the transition forward and really moving from the baseline to attacking positions so that we can jump onto those opportunities when we're actually playing. Yep. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's go. Huh. Oh, I, I approached it way too much. <laughs> he fed me the ball all the way left to the court. Hip. Hip. Keep that, keep that. Hip. Hip. Sorry, sorry. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, that was good. Hip. 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 
Ja. Hip. Hip. <laughs> Man gave up halfway through the drill. <laughs> Sorry, that was a low, low ball. Those were quick. Took it. Ready? Hit. 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 <laughs> oh. Bro, your overhead, just like your, your serve, bro, you gotta be at full length when you're contacting that. You're okay. hitting it here, man. Okay. Like full length here, here. Okay. If you swing and miss, it doesn't matter. You need to reprogram that swing to be up there. Okay. Yeah. Hip. Shit, sorry. Hip. Hip. Nice. Yeah. Hip. 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 Nice. But see, nice and low here again. Yeah. All right. One more time. And up. Swing. Yeah, see how you're contacting here a yeah. bit better? Yeah. Here you were about there. Yeah. That's not too bad. That's pretty yes. good. All right, nice and up. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. Do you feel falling away a little bit? Yeah, did yeah. you feel like it was behind you yeah. this time a little bit? All I had to do was do this, really. Yeah, because... but the, um, that, so you're contacting it higher, which is the whole point of this, so that's much better. Okay. And yeah. up. Swing. Nice, beauty. Yeah. Contact point nice and high. Yeah. Up. And swing. Not too bad, not too bad, that's good, that's good. Three, two, one, up. Yeah, yeah way better. better fucking way really. better. Yeah. Uh, that was our last drill. What did you think of that last one? Oh, I think it was good, good productive hit. Yeah. Yeah, felt yeah. good. Felt good, uh, especially for me because I get frustrated when I can't get the proper technique, when I can't get the proper motion and enough time to practice what I need to be practicing. So nights like these, super instrumental to my game personally. Uh, shout out to Bob. Yeah. Thanks for coming through. Shout out Vince. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys took some notes and uh, I would recommend you guys give a shot at these exercises, drills. Find yourself a partner who's, you know, a little bit more serious, someone who wants to improve their game and give these a shot. You never know. Uh, and uh, we don't have a coach here. We're basically just giving each other feedback as we're going. Um, and also we're going to be watching obviously this footage as well um, to be able to review sort of our motion, everything a little bit critically. We did make a video about recording um, yourself, recording yourself yeah. to be able to have some feedback. So I would highly recommend you guys go check that out. Uh, I guess we'll maybe put the link down below. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Drop a comment if you guys have any other drills that we could give a shot. Let us know. Let us know. Uh, follow us on Instagram. And uh, otherwise, uh, well, it's good to be back. Good to be back. Good to be back. Let's go. Let's go. All right, cheers.